What is CodeQL? CodeQL is a semantic code analysis engine that is used to automatically find security vulnerabilities and other software bugs in code bases. It was originally developed by Semly, a company acquired by GitHub in 2019, and is now an integral part of GitHub's security offerings. CodeQL uses a query language that allows users to write custom queries to analyze code and find issues. The query language is designed to be expressive and flexible allowing users to write queries that can analyze a wide range of programming languages, including C, C++, Java, JavaScript, Python, and many others. CodeQL is used by developers and security researchers to find vulnerabilities in code bases, and it has been used to identify vulnerabilities in high-profile projects like the Linux kernel and the Apache Struts web framework. In addition to its use in security analysis, CodeQL can also be used for general code quality analysis, helping developers find bugs and improve the overall quality of their code. How to configure CodeQL? Configuring CodeQL involves several steps, including setting up the necessary tools and dependencies, creating a CodeQL database, and writing CodeQL queries to analyze the code. Here is a brief overview of the process. Install the CodeQL CLI. The CodeQL CLI is a command line tool that is used to create and manage CodeQL databases and run queries. You can download the CLI from the GitHub website. Install the CodeQL extension in your IDE. CodeQL has extensions for various IDEs, including Visual Studio Code, Eclipse, and IntelliJ IDEA. Installing the extension in your IDE will enable you to write and run CodeQL queries directly from your IDE. Download CodeQL Database and Tools. The CodeQL Database and Tools are language-specific, so you will need to download the appropriate ones for your programming language. The database and tools can be downloaded from the CodeQL repository on GitHub. Create a CodeQL Database. Once you have downloaded the database and tools, you can use the CodeQL CLI to create a database for your codebase. The database will contain all of the necessary information for CodeQL to analyze your code. Write CodeQL queries. With the CodeQL database in place, you can start writing CodeQL queries to analyze your code. CodeQL queries are written in a declarative query language that is designed to be easy to use and understand. Run CodeQL queries. Finally, you can run your code QL queries against your code base to identify security vulnerabilities and other issues. The code QL CLI provides a variety of options for running queries, including running them from the command line or from within your IDE. Code QL supports a wide range of programming languages and frameworks, including programming languages, C and C++, Java, JavaScript and TypeScript, Python, Go, C Sharp, Swift, Kotlin, Ruby, PHP. Frameworks and libraries, Node, JS and NPM, Ruby on Rails, Django, Flask, Spring, Hibernate, .NET Framework and .NET Core, React, Angular, Vue, JS. In addition to these, CodeQL can also analyze SQL code and shell scripts. CodeQL's ability to analyze such a wide range of programming languages and frameworks makes it a powerful tool for security analysis and code quality analysis. CodeQL versus SonarCube. Approach to analysis. CodeQL uses a semantic code analysis engine that is based on program semantics and allows users to write custom queries to analyze code and identify issues. On the other hand, SonarCube uses a rule-based analysis approach that relies on predefined rules to identify issues in code. Focus on security analysis. CodeQL is primarily focused on security analysis and is particularly well-suited for identifying vulnerabilities in code bases. SonarCube, while also capable of identifying security issues, has a broader focus on code quality analysis, including metrics related to maintainability, reliability, and test coverage. Language support. CodeQL supports a wide range of programming languages and frameworks, while SonarCube has more limited language support. CodeQL is designed to be highly customizable and adaptable to different programming languages and frameworks. User interface. 
SonarCube provides a user-friendly dashboard for managing code analysis and tracking issues over time. CodeQL, on the other hand, is a command-line tool that requires users to write custom queries to analyze code. While CodeQL does provide some built-in query templates, it is designed for users who are comfortable working with code and command-line tools. CodeQL use cases? Identifying security vulnerabilities. CodeQL is particularly well-suited for identifying security vulnerabilities in codebases. It can be used to find vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, buffer overflows, and more. Reviewing third-party code. CodeQL can be used to analyze third-party code for security vulnerabilities before incorporating it into a project. This can help identify potential security risks before they become an issue. Performing code audits. CodeQL can be used to perform code audits to identify issues such as code smells, maintainability issues, and performance problems. Enforcing coding standards. CodeQL can be used to enforce coding standards by identifying code that does not conform to established guidelines. Improving code quality. CodeQL can be used to improve code quality by identifying areas of code that are difficult to maintain, error-prone, or in need of refactoring. Supporting compliance. CodeQL can be used to support compliance with industry standards and regulations such as PCI DSS, HIPAA, and GDPR. In summary, CodeQL is focused on security analysis and provides a customizable, command-line tool for analyzing code, while SonarCube has a broader focus on code quality and provides a user-friendly dashboard for managing code analysis. Both tools have their strengths and can be used together to provide comprehensive analysis of a software project.